Tell me again why you wanted to come to this wonderful, warm, sunny place, Jane said as she leaned back in the booth, at the same time pushing her luncheon plate to the middle of the table. God, I'm tired. You look exhausted, Annie. Both of us need to sleep around the clock. Annie sighed, a sound that could be heard clear across the room. She lit a stale cigarette, something she rarely did because she couldn't afford to smoke. My parents used to bring Tom and me here every summer. I remember how happy I was when I got here. My steps were lighter, my face hurt from smiling so much. I clearly remember the early evening smell of Confederate jasmine and sweet olive. I swear, Jane the scent used to stop me dead in my tracks. My mother always said she wanted to bottle the smell, so she would have it nearby once we got back to Tennessee. They call this the low country, and I swear it has a way of creeping into your sleep until even your waking dreams are filled with its spirit, and you find yourself in a longing state. I always said I was going to come here and live someday. Now, I'm here. I hope you're going to love it here as much as I do. I love it already. I don't think I've ever seen such a glorious array of flowers. What did you say that purple hanging stuff is? Wisteria. The big bushes are azaleas, and the flowering trees are dogwood. The sweet olive trees are the ones with the little yellow buds. That was a good lunch, Jane. We need to move, Annie, or I'm going to fall asleep. First stop the bank so we can open an account. It's going to take at least five days for Elmo's check to clear. You're right. Thank God we have our apartment. I can't wait to see it. The landlady said she would have it all ready. All we have to do is put the sheets on the beds and buy some groceries. We have a roof over our heads for a month. 